podcast mic. What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, after learning how to place spaces in our project, so this time around, we're going to learn how to place zones in our project. Okay, so zones in Revit allows you to use diversities in the analytical model and size equipment appropriately. So in a project, you add zones and assign spaces to them for controlling the spatial environment. So after you assign spaces to zones, so you can modify, move, rename, reassign, schedule, and delete zones and apply a color scheme to them. So zones consist of one or more spaces that are controlled by mechanical equipment, uh, such as RTUs, AHUs, or chilled beam to maintain a common environment such as the temperature and humidity. So basically, zones is a collection of one or more spaces. So that's the why, that is the reason why we created spaces first before we create zones, okay? Because we needed a spaces for zones. Okay, so you use zones to ensure that the load calculations are based on the peak load demand of these zones. So when you place spaces in the, in the building model, they are automatically assigned to a default zone in the system browser. That's why if we are going to check the system browser here, I'm going to right click browser and then I go to the system browser. You can see that we can change this to zones. So if I click the zones, so you can see that there is a default zone here wherein all of the spaces that we have placed is in. Okay? So now what we are going to do is we are going to create our own zone. Okay? So we're not going to place the zone all over the building, but like what we did on our spaces exercise, we're just going to do that only on one portion of our building. Okay, it's not that difficult to create zone and I'm pretty sure that you will be able to uh, understand it and you'll be able to create a zone easily. Okay, so we need to assign spaces to zones depending on the spaces that a common piece of equipment serves. So let's say for one zone, so there is one equipment that will be control that particular zone, something like that. So this enables you to choose the most efficient and cost-effective piece of equipment to enhance the building design. Okay, so let us do this exercise now. So we are going to uh, create zones for this. So in this exercise, we're going to create HVAC zones by assigning existing spaces to the zones. And then we are also going to create spaces to be assigned to a new zone. Okay, so as you notice in this exercise, the spaces have been created on the first floor of a classroom building and we need to create an HVAC zone for sizing equipment loads for the spaces on this floor. Okay, and then if you're going to check out the level 2 here, the second floor does not have spaces, so we need to create spaces then. And then we're going to assign spaces on all the levels to new HVAC zone and then finally we're going to create an HVAC zone to serve the staircase that it uh, that spans three levels from level one uh, level two and level three so basically we're going to create one zone for level one to level three okay we're going to create an HVAC zone to serve the staircase that spans three levels okay so let's get started so Opening the level one here, as you can see, we have spaces here. So we do already have existing spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select zones or zone tool. So just click that one and then just add spaces. And then we just need to click the space. Okay. Just click that. Just click that. If you are having a difficulty selecting the space, although it's not difficult, so there is an option wherein you'll be able to show that cross uh, space uh, symbol okay so I'm going to show you that later on okay so after you select the spaces that you want to create for your first zone the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the properties here and then I'm going to change the name of that so I'm just going to call that 1-1 okay or you can call that 
um, ACU1. So let's say so there is equipment that will control this uh, one zone here. So it's up to you. So I'll just call it 1-1. One -one. Right. So after that, I'll just select your finish. And there you go. So if I hover my pointer here, that's the zone. So I click that. So you can actually move that here. And then it's now created here on our system browser. If I expand that, there you go. So there's our spaces on zone 1-1. One -one. And then if you check the properties here, so you'll be able to see the occupied area, gross area, occupied volume, gross volume perimeter, and other parameters that you can modify from this HVAC zones. Okay? And then, like what I have said earlier, if you want to show that cross symbol of, this, uh, of the space, in case you're having a difficulty, you can go to the visibility graphic overrides, then you can go to model categories, look for the spaces, then expand that, and you can check the reference, and then OK. And then you'll now be able to see those spaces. Okay, so in my case, I don't want to see that. So I'm just going to undo it. Okay, now, so I'm going to create another zone here for these four spaces here. So I'm going to select the zone, and then I'm going to click this space here, this space, this one, and then this one. There you go. So again, it's now added here on our system browser. There you go. Okay. And then let's us now select finish editing zone. And you also notice that after we rename 1-1, one -one, automatically it renames to 1-2. Okay? So I go to finish editing zone. Now, let's go to the second level wherein we don't have a space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to select zone here. So I'm going to select zone, but... As you can see, if I select the Analyze here, I can still select Space. So basically, while you are in the Zone tool, you can still create a space. So after you create the space, it will create the zone. Okay? So because we still need to create the space. So I'm just showing you here that while you are in the Zone tool, you can still create a space. So I'm going to select the space. And then let's go to the Properties. And then um, I'm on level 2, so I'm going to change the upper limit to level 2 plenum. If you remember last video, we created a level for our plenum. Okay, so the upper limit is level 2 plenum with an offset distance of 0. So from level 2 to level 2 plenum with an offset distance of 0. Okay, and then I'm going to place uh, just here. Okay, I'm going to place all of that. So I'll just put one here, here, and then here. Okay? There you go. So I created the space, but once I go to the edit zone, it will now also create the zone. So I go here, finish editing zone. There you go. So I, cre I created the spaces, and then also I create the zone here. There you go. So let me just call this 2-1, uh, 2-1. All right. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create zone across multiple levels. Okay, so another way of creating a zone just in case for some reason this uh, when you create the zone, it doesn't uh, detect the boundary of your building because if I select the space here, and then I hover my pointer. Notice that it highlights almost all building. Let's say, for example, I only want to create a space in this area here. Okay? This area of the stair. I don't want to place the space for the whole building because for some reason, there's an error of the boundary. So what I'm going to do is I'll select Modify to Terminate. There's this tool that is called the Space Separator. So it draws a space separation line to divide the space. Okay, so use separation lines as a special model lines that are space bounding. So use them to divide the spaces for different heating and cooling requirements. So this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to select space separator 
using a rectangle here. So let's place here. So from this corner to this corner here. And that is what I'm going to do as well for my level 1. So space separator, rectangle. So I'm going to place here. Okay. So I want to divide the space. So level 3, space separator, rectangle shape. Now let's create the boundary. And there you go. So after I place the boundary, I'm now going back again to zone. And then um, let's go to analyze because we need to create a space as well. So I select the space. Okay, so currently I am on level 3. So I'm going to change the upper limit to level 4. Of course, there's no plenum on the staircase. So from level 3 to level 4 with an offset distance of 0. There you go. So I'm now going to place here. Okay. So let me go to level 2, level 2, uh, analyze, the space, I'm still on zone tool. Okay, so I'm, I am on level 2, upper limit is level 3, offset is 0. Again, it's not level 2 plenum because on the staircase, there's no plenum here. So that's why it's level 2 to level 3 with an offset distance of 0. So I'm going to place here, there you go, and then for level 1, analyze, space, oops, sorry, yeah, that's correct, sorry. So space, and then um, upper limit is level 2, offset, no, oh yeah, so it's level 2, and then uh, 0, offset. So level 1 to level 2, offset 0, and then let's place 1 here, there you go. And then let's go to the properties. Let's change the name here. So I will call this uh, Northeast Staircase. Okay, so that's the zoning. Then apply, and then let's finish this. There you go. So if I click this, so that's the space. Where is the zone? Okay, so there's the zone. I'll just put here. Okay, there you go. So there, I click that. So if I go to the level 2, as you can see, it's highlighted. If I go to level 3, it's highlighted. Okay, because they are just on one zone. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is to finalize this uh, exercise, I'll just go to the HVAC zone section, this one here, and then just like what we did on our uh, creating spaces exercise, I'm also going to add a color fill legend. So I click the color fill legend. And then I'm going to place one here. And then make sure the space type is HVAC zones. So last exercise, we select spaces. So this time around, HVAC zones using schema 1. And then I just select your OK. And there you have it. OK. So as you can see, that is our 1-1, 1-2, 2-1 and then this whole uh, zone here is our northeast staircase. Alright, so that is for our exercise for uh, creating zones. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. If you want to get the exercise file, you can just put your email there and then I'll be sending you the exercise. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.